Hey people, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, from like last almost two months or three months, so many people have been contacting me and asking me when I'm going to make the videos about KGSP undergraduate people. So, today is the day I'm going to make the video for KGSP undergraduate people. Uh, so, whosoever want to apply for KGSP undergraduate, like if you are in school and you want to do your further studies, your higher studies from Korea, so you can watch this video till the end. And I'm sure if you watch this video till the end, you will get some idea how to apply for the scholarships what are the different things that are covered inside the scholarships and uh, uh, what is the process like the basic process for applying for this particular scholarship so before that if you're new to this channel please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon like my video share my videos go and watch all the videos and comment on it and let me know if you like it or not and what are the different things you want to know about me or about the KGSP program so now I will start explaining about the required documents, what are the different documents required when you apply for this scholarship. So the first thing uh, required is the application form that is provided by the NIID and if you are applying from the embassy. So how the process will start, embassy will announce this scholarship on their website that I will put the link in the description section that is MHRD. So MHRD basically deals with uh, the Korean government scholarship program. So you can go on their site and can check the announcement and uh, after the announcement you have to fill one form there and the another form which is provided by the NID so the one form will be provided from the study in Korea website you can go there and check it out and the another form will be provided from the uh, from our embassy uh, that is the MHRD office so you have to fill both of the forms and after that you have to give personal statement so if you guys want to know how to write personal statement uh, you can go to my previous videos and can check it out there and still if you you uh, feel it hard I can make another video please let me know in the uh, comment section if you want me to make a proper video for how to make a personal statement and study plan so I will try to explain in the next video so the next thing you need is two recommendation letters so you can get these recommendation letters from uh, any of the your previous teachers who knows you well and who can assess you on the basis of your studies and your character uh, and they can give you some kind of like uh, comments on that so uh, NID give you a specific format for getting the um, getting the recommendation letter you can follow that format you can get that format and can give it to the um, can give it to your teachers who, who knows you better and can write for you you can give them and they will write and uh, put it into a sealed envelope you don't need to uh, look at it what is it there you cannot uh, read it so you have to uh, submit that envelope as such so after that uh, they are the complete self medical assessment so they provide us one kind of form where you have to uh, assess yourself after that you have to submit high school grade transcripts including a description of schools grading system so you have to provide as you know like even if I if I talk about only only India uh, you know that there are so many different schools following different grading systems so the one thing you need is the transcripts are uh, transcripts are basically the certificates that you get uh, during your mid -day exams final exams or whatever the different mark sheets you get they are known as transcripts you need to collect all these transcripts and uh, a description of the school's grading system you can get you can ask from the like from the schools to give you uh, some kind of certificate that explains their grading system so you need to submit that also and one column I skipped is graduation certificate of high school or provisional graduate certificate so again I'm telling you guys it's okay if you don't have your final grades you can still apply with the documents you have you don't need to worry about that if you don't have your final results you can still apply for that and you can submit your results later on like uh, they, they have asked for a specific uh, like you can see here those who are expected to graduate by March 120 may submit a provisional graduation certificate of high school like uh, there are two kind of things that you can do here one is like you know guys you have preschools before the board exam so you can submit those certificates also and if you don't have those you can uh, ask university to provide you some kind of certificate that says that this time you will uh, graduate or this this particular time you are going to graduate so you can submit that form uh, in replacement of this form after that you can put any kind of award if you uh, participated any kind of uh, event inside the school or inter school competitions you can put 
whatever the document you have and here also i have one video to tell you guys like where i explained about the document these documents are pretty same as that of masters and phd students you can go to the link here like i gave into the card you can press this card and can go to the video and can find uh, what type of different awards and uh, what kind of documents you can submit in addition and after that applicants with the certificate scores on their proficiency in korean or in english may be given preference so although it is not required to submit any kind of topic i'll toffle any of the language exam but still if you have it that's quite obvious you will get the preference over other students who don't have it so after that um, you have to provide the family member service at a korean war or uh, you don't need to do that and uh, uh you can just just skip this kind of things uh you can okay so the the ba the basic requirements i would say there are total four sets of application document one set of original and three set of photocopy should be placed in a separate envelope the original set must be marked as original on its envelope okay so uh, if i give you specific notes that uh, that is explained in the guidelines you can uh, follow like this like there are four set of documents are required so uh, the first thing is you will make the original uh, document together with all the documents that you are submitting the first is application form together with all the documents you will make one copy of all these documents and then you can photocopy them and make four copies of these uh, these documents and can submit to the mhrd office so the next point is original document should be submitted so there are so many people who are who have been constantly asking me what if we submit the original documents what will uh whether they whether they give it back to us or not so i'm telling you guys don't submit any of the original document just uh make the copy of the document and go to the notary office nearby you get not uh, get those documents notarized and then submit them you don't need to submit any of the original document i'm telling you again guys you don't need to submit any of the document uh original document uh you can just copy them and can notarize them and can submit to the mhrd office if there is any inconsistency applicant name or date on submitted so uh all these things i'm not going to read all of them you can go and see into the description section you can uh you can go to the description section and can find the link and uh, read these guidelines by yourself they are i don't think it's uh, worth it to uh, waste some time on reading these of these of these notes in this video i tried to explain a little bit about the korean government scholarship program for undergraduate degrees uh, i know there there will be so many people who have so many questions to ask so please leave into the comment section i am ready to answer in my next videos and uh, this is just a basic video don't think that this was the final video there are so many videos coming on this topic uh, where i will try to explain each and every single column one by one as you can see i explained for the master and phd degrees that uh, in the same way i will try to explain for undergraduate degrees also so uh, till then you can go to the uh, kgsp playlist that i will give the link in the description section you can go to the kgsp playlist and can find the videos there the process is almost similar for undergraduates and graduate degrees and at last if you have any question please leave it in the comment section like my video share my video subscribe the channel and press the bell icon